Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Vintage NASCAR Owners, D.K. Ulrich. D.K. Ulrich formed Ulrich Racing in 1971 and stayed active until 1995, all in NAS NASCAR Cup Series. He has not, not, he has had n n 69 different drivers spend time behind the wheel of one of his race cars. So, in 1971, the Ulrich Racing Team attempted 18 races, qualifying for 14 of them, all in the team's number nine, number 40 Ford. Ulrich made 12 starts. His his best start was 14th at Kingsport, and his best finish was 12th at uh, Islip. Now, Roy Main made one start for Ulrich Racing in his number 40 Ford at Darlington, starting 37th and finishing 10th. A few races later, Dick May made one start for, for Ulrich in that number 40 at Dover, starting 35th and finishing 19th. The Ulrich Racing Team didn't attempt but eight races in 1972 NASCAR Grand National Division. He did qualify for four of those eight attempts, though. He drove all, all of these races in his number 40 Ford. His best start was 19th, and his best finish was 11th, both coming in the spring at Nashville Fairgrounds. That was all the activity for Ulrich Racing in the Cup Series in 1972. Ulrich Racing did make 11 Grand National East Series starts that same season, also driving a number 40 Ford. DK made all 11 starts, scoring a best-known start of 15th at Nashville Fairgrounds, and his best finish was 11th at Isla. In 1973, the R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company began sponsoring the Premier Series in NASCAR, renaming it the NASCAR Cup Winston Cup Series. This changed the point system and also the schedule. The season schedule had been 50 races a season, and now this brought it down to around 30 races a season. So, I mean, that's a plus for the drivers at least, you know, so they're not away from their families as much. DK made 11 starts in that number 40, and Frank Warren made 3 starts as well. The team attempted, but missed, the Daytona, five, Daytona Summer Race. Ulrich's best start was 30th, twice in the summer at Bristol, and in the fall at North Wilkesboro. His best finish was 18th in the fall at Darlington. Frank Warren's best start was 20th, in the summer at Nashville Fairgrounds, and his best finish was 13th at College Station. So, in DK Ulrich's number 40, Noel's Auto Sales Ford. That's what Frank Warren was driving. For 1974, the Ulrich Racing Team continued to run a part-time schedule with a few different drivers. One making starts in the team's race cars. DK Ulrich attempted 16 races, qualifying for 15 of them in his number 40 Noel Auto Sales Chevrolet. His best start was 23rd twice in the spring at Richmond and Michigan in the summer. His best finish was 12th at Nashville Fairgrounds in the summer. Tony Bettenhouse Jr. made one start for the team at Rockingham in the fall, starting 36th and finishing 20th. Ed Negra made one start for the team at Michigan in the summer, starting 28th and finishing 21st. Harry Schilling made, also made one start for the, for the Ulrich Racing Team as well at Ontario, starting 29th and finishing 21st. The team ran over half the schedule in 1975. DK made 17 attempts, qualifying for 16 of them. 
His best start was 13th in the spring at Bristol. His best finish was 10th at Dover. Overall, he scored one top 10 and seven top 20s in 16 starts. Randy, Randy Bertha made one start in, in the team's number 40, Carolina Ford Van Lines Chevrolet at Charlotte in the spring, starting 39th and finishing 33rd. From the end of the 1975 season till the 1978 season, Allard Racing didn't make a single attempt. Allard Racing returned in 1978 with D.K. Allard behind the wheel for the majority of the season, 22 starts. They attempted 23 races, but but qualified for 22. His best start was 10th three times in the fall at Pocono, Michigan, and Bristol. His best finish was 9th in the fall at Bristol. Overall, he scored three top 10s en route to an 11th in final points. For the 1979 season, Ulrich Racing returned to run the full schedule with D.K. Ulrich behind the wheel of his number 40 Midwestern Farm Line Chevrolet, or Buick, because they ran both. His best start was 9th in the fall at North Wilkesboro, and his best finish was 10th, was 6th in the spring at Rockingham. Overall, he scored 5 top 10s and finished 12th in points. A whole a whole slew of drivers spent time behind the wheel of an Ulrich racing car in 1980. Mike, Mike Alexander made one start at Nashville Fairgrounds, starting 12th and finishing 10th. Stan Barrett made three starts. His best start was 17th in Rockingham, and his best finish was 10th in Atlanta. Overall, in three starts, he scored one top 10. Joe Boer made one start for the team at Richmond in the spring, starting 30th and finishing 11th. Harry Denwendel Din also made one start at Talladega, starting 38th and finishing 12th. Tommy Gale made one start at Michigan, starting 20th and finishing 19th. Sterling Marlin made a young Sterling Marlin at that, made one start at Nashville Fairgrounds, starting 17th and finishing 7th. Dick May made two starts at Bristol and Dover in the spring. His best start was 15th, and his best finish, now his best finish was 7th at Dover. Solid run. J.D. McDuffie also made one start in the number 40 at Charlotte in the spring, starting 23rd and finishing 30th. Tim Richmond, an up-and-coming Tim Richmond, made five starts in the all racing number 40 Uno Chevrolet. He brought the Uno sponsorship with him. His best start was 17th in the fault Dover, and his best finish was 12th three times at Pocono, Martinsville, and Charlotte in the fall. Richmond did run a number six for Ulrich in the Atlanta, in the Atlanta race in the fall. Ricky Rudd made three starts for the team in the beginning of the season. Rockingham, Atlanta, and Doddington in the spring. His best start was fourth in the spring at Darlington. His best finish was 12th in the spring at Rockingham. Dick Skillen made one start for all of racing at Talladega in the spring, starting 22nd and finishing 28th. D.K. Ulrich made 10 starts for for the team. His best start was 5th and his best finish was 10th, both coming at Bristol in the fall. Bill Wil Bill Whittington made two starts for all of racing. His best finish was tw best start was 28th and his best finish was 8th, both coming at Riverside. That following season, all of racing continued to have a rotation of drivers behind the wheel of their race cars. Rick Baldwin made one start at College Station starting 29th and finishing 21st. Joe Boer made three starts. His best start was 29th in the fall Michigan, and his best finish was 20th in, in the summer at Pocono. Chuck Baum made one start for the team, driving a number 99 Coca-Cola Buick, owned by Oliver Racing, at Charlotte, starting 41st and finishing 39th 
Elliot Forbes Robinson made one start in the fall at Bristol, starting 24th and finishing 23rd, again driving a number 99 Buick for the team. Tommy Gale made three starts. His best start was 24th in, in Martinsville. His best finish was 14th at Dover in the spring. Cecil Gordon made three starts for the team late in the season. His best start was 19th in the fall at Bristol, and, 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 19th, and his best finish was 19th in North Wilkesboro. Terry Herman made two starts for all racing also. His best start was 12th in Riverside, and his best finish was 14th. Kevin Hosby made one start for the team as well at Daytona in the summer starting 36th and finishing 36th. Don Hume made one start for all of Ulrich Racing also at Rockingham in the fall starting and finishing 33rd. Then Slick Johnson made one start for the team also at Darlington in the fall starting 24th and finishing 35th. Rick Nope made one start as well for the team at Michigan in the summer starting 30th and finishing 20th. Al Lo Loquisto made one start for the team too at Pocono in the summer starting 32nd and finishing 24th. Sterling Marlin made one start also at Nashville in the summer starting and finishing 26th driving a number 99 Coors Buick. Dick May made two starts for the Al for Ulrich also his best start was 31st in, in Charlotte in the spring, and his best finish was 25th twice in the spring at Charlotte, then, then Dover in the fall. Bill McElwee in, in, made two starts. Bob McElwee made two starts for the team. His best start was 24th, and his best finish was 8th in the fall at North Wilkesboro. Tim Richmond made 13 starts for Ulrich Racing in their number 99 Uno Buick. His best start was 13th in the spring at Bristol and his best finish was 6th in the spring at Talladega. Overall, in 13 starts, he scored three top 10s. Ronnie Thomas made one start for the team in the fall at Charlotte. He started and finished 32nd. D.K. Ulrich made 13 starts for his team. He spent time behind the wheel of a number 40, ni number 99, number 98, and a number 64, all in 13 starts. His best start was 10th in the spring at Nashville, and his best finish was 4th in the spring at Dover. A brand new season, 1982. But really, the same old song and dance, as far as the Met all the meth the method that the all racing team was using. DK makes the most starts each season and the team gives other drivers an opportunity. This season was no different. DK DK made twenty one starts, this time in a number six Buick. He he did make one start in a number forty Buick. His best start was sixteenth in the summer at Bristol and his best finish was tenth in the fall at Rockingham. Slick Johnson made 10 starts for the team in, a, in their number 40 Buick. His best start was 22nd in the summer at Natural Fairgrounds. His best finish was 16th in the spring at Dover. Al Lo Loquisto made 5 starts in the team's number 6 Buick. His best start was 21st. Dick May made 4 starts for the team. His best start was 26th and his best finish was 13th both coming in the spring at Rockingham. Jimmy Hensley made three starts for all racing in their number 40 Midlothian Texco Buick. His best start was 21st and his best finish was 9th, both coming at Martinsville in the spring. Joe Boer attempted four races for the team, including the Daytona 500, but DNQ'd for two races. His best start was 30th in the summer at Pocono and his best finish was 18th at Michigan. Stan Barrett made one start the Daytona 500, driving the team's number six native tan Buick. He, he started 41st and finished 31st. Randy Becker also made 
a one-off start for the team in the spring at Riverside, starting 31st and finishing 21st, driving the number six Buick. Farrell Harris also made one start at Talladega in the spring, starting 40th and finishing 23rd. Terry, Terry Herman made a start also in the fall at Riverside in the team's number six Pentex Cameras Buick, starting 31st and finishing, and he finished 13th. Tommy Houston made one start in the spring at Richmond, starting 29th and finishing 25th. Bob Jarvis made one start as well in the summer at Daytona, starting 38th and finishing 35th. Slick Johnson made 10 starts in, in the team's for the team. His best start was 22nd in the fall at Nashville, and his best finish was 16th in the spring at Dover. Now, Joel Stowe made one start in the fall at North Wilkesboro, starting 22nd and finishing 27th in his one start. So, for the 1983 NASCAR Cup Series season, Arc Racing again had several drivers behind the wheel of their race cars. DK Arc made 16 starts. His best start was 21st in the fall at North Hooksville. His best finish was 10th twice in the spring at Darlington and in the fall at Richmond. Al Elmore made 5 attempts, qualifying for 4, four races. For all of racing. His best start was 24th and his best finish was 16th, both coming at Bristol in the fall. Jim Sauter made four starts in the number six for all of racing. His best start was 15th in the spring at Richmond and his best finish was 18th in the spring at Daytona. Mark Martin made two starts in the, in the number six at Jim Miguel Buick. His best start was 14th, and his best finish was 21st, both coming at Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway in the spring. Tommy Gale made one start in a number 64 for the, for, for the team at, at Martinsville in the spring. He started 27th and finished 22nd. Connie Saylor also made one start for the all Racing team at Daytona in the summer, starting 17th. And finishing 18th. For the 1984 NASCAR Cup Series season, the ARC Racing team ran a limited schedule but still had a rotation of drivers. DK Ulrich made nine starts with the best start at 22nd in the spring at Rockingham. His best finish was 17th at Dover in the spring. Clark Dwyer made four starts for the team in, in, in a number six Chevrolet. His best start was 29th, and his best finish was 15th, both coming in the fall at Bristol. Jimmy Ingles, Jimmy Ingles made three starts for all racing. His best start was 27th in the fall at Dover, and his best finish was 22nd in the fall at Rockingham. Then Jim Sutter made three more starts as well. He His best start was 23rd in the spring at Charlotte, and his best finish was 17th in Atlanta. <laughs> Doug Heveron also made two starts for the team near the end of the season. His best start was 26th, and his best finish was 18th, both coming at Martinsville. Morgan Shepard made two starts for all of racing, too. His best start was 25th in the summer at Nashville Fairgrounds. His best finish was 23rd at Charlotte in the fall. Connie Saylor another, made another one-off. One off start for the second year in a row at Daytona in the summer, starting 33rd and finishing 27th. Now for the 1985 NASCAR Cup Series season. Ulrich Racing's team decided to go full-time racing with the same driver all season. Unfortunately, their season did not get off on the right foot with the team DNQing the Daytona 500. The team put Eddie Bershwally behind the wheel of the number 6 Chevrolet. His best start was 22nd in the spring at Bristol. His best finish was 15th twice in the spring at both Atlanta and Bristol. T.K. Ulrich made one start in a number 65 Buick at Rockingham 
in the fall. He started 40th and finished 32nd. In 1986, Ulrich Racing went back to having a rotation of drivers behind the, behind their wheels. DK Ulrich made the most starts out of any other driver. His best start was 22nd, or was 26th in the fall at North Wilkesboro. His best finish was 17th twice in the spring at Pocono and in the fall at Richmond. Trevor Boys made the first nine starts of the 86 season in the team's number six Chevrolet. His best start was 14th at Richmond in the spring, and his best finish was also 14th in the spring at Martinsville. Joe Boer made two starts for the team, both Dover races. His best start was 33rd, and his best finish was 18th, both coming in the fall at Dover. Rick Nope made one start for for the team at Watkins Glen, starting 29th and finishing 20th. Jim Sauter also made one start at Daytona in the summer, starting 41st and finishing 23rd. For the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte, Richard Petty wasn't a, wasn't fast enough to qualify for the field, so he bought the number six Chevrolet ride from. Bought the number six Chevrolet ride for the race and put STB decals on it and raced it. He bought this ride from BK Ulrich. He started 37th and finished 38th after engine issues. The following season in 1987, once again, the Ulrich Racing Team had several drivers shared the driving duties throughout the 87 season. D.K. Ulrich made seven starts. His best start was 26th in the fall at Richmond, and his best finish was 15th in the spring at Bristol. Connie Saylor made six starts also in the number six Kroger Chevrolet. His best start was 27th in the spring at Michigan, and his best finish was 16th in the fall at Charlotte. Rick, Rick Note also made three, three more starts. His best start was 34th, in, in the summer at Michigan, or in the summer at Watkins Glen, his best finish was 20th in the, in the fall at Dover. Ernie Irvin ran three out of, out of his first five races of his career driving for, for all of racing in the Cup Series. His best start was 24th, and his best finish was 15th, both coming in the fall at Martinsville. Ron Essall made one start, for the team at Riverside in the spring, starting 39th and finishing 32nd. Trevor Boys made one start for the team, the Daytona 500, starting 28th and finishing 23rd. Bobby Baker, not Buddy Baker, but Bobby Baker, also made one start for the team in the spring at North Wilkesboro, starting 30th and finishing 23rd. Allwick Racing decided to run full-time with just one driver in 1988, Ernie Irvin. They did D and Q four times, so they made twenty five starts in eighty eight. Also, the team changed their number to the number two, and landed Kroger's as a primary sponsor. His best start was seventeenth twice in the fall at Darlington and North Wilkesboro. His best finish was eleventh in the fall at Martinsville. They ended up twenty sixth in points. In nineteen eighty nine, Allard Racing re signed Irvin and and Kroger's return to the car. To drive Urban to drive the car and Kroger's return as primary sponsor. They qualified for all 29 NASCAR Cup Series races in 1989. His best start was 8th in the fall at Bristol. His best finish was 6th in the fall at Martinsville. Overall, they scored four top 10s on their way to 22nd final points. A new decade, but still more of the same for all work racing. After Ernie Urban left, at the end of 1989, 10 drivers shared the driving duties in 1990. Rick Mast made 14 starts. His best start was 8th, and his best finish was 12th, both coming in the spring at Bristol. Ted Musgrave made 2 starts. His best, bet, his, his, his best start was 25th, and his best finish was 22nd. Both in the same race in the fall at Phoenix. Troy Beebe made two starts himself for the team. His best start was 28th, 
and his best finish was 31st, both coming at Michigan. Charlie Glossback made two starts. His best start was 38th at Daytona in the summer, and his best finish was 27th in the fall at Darlington. A.D. Bershawali made one start, the Daytona 500 starting 41st and finishing 32nd. Jim Bound made one start at Sonoma, finishing 42nd and starting starting 42nd and finishing 22nd. Jerry O'Neill made one start also in the summer at Watkins Glen, starting 36th and finishing 26th. Jim Sauter made made a one-off start in the fall at Dover, starting 33rd and finishing 34th. D.K. Ulrich made one start in the fall in Richmond, starting 36th and finishing 33rd. Rick Ware, yes, that Rick Ware also made one start in the summer at Watkins Glen. His bet, he started 35th and he finished 36th. In 1991, Olick Racing decided to go full-time with Ted Musgrave behind the wheel. His best start was 15th in Michigan. His best finish was 12th at Bristol. Overall, they scored zero top 10s en route to a 23rd place final points finish. Olick Racing took a couple seasons off in 92 and 93, but in 94 they returned with Greg Sachs driving the number 77 U.S. Air Ford. His best start was first. In the fall at Atlanta, his best finish was sixth in the spring at Daytona and Talladega. P.J. Jones made one start at Watkins Glen in the summer, starting and finishing 35th. Finally, the final season of the Olick Racing Team. Bobby Hillen Jr. made 18 starts. His best start was 36th in the fall at North Oaksboro. Best start, best finish was ninth at, at Atlanta. Davy Jones' best start was 22nd. His best finish was 20th. At Darlington. So overall, in all, all, in all work racing's existence in NASCAR, the team made 547 NASCAR Cup Series starts, with 69 drivers sharing driving duties throughout their career, scoring one pole, zero wins, one top five, 33 top tens, and their best points finish was 12th in 1979. Thanks for watching, and take care. <laughs>